Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 601. Hey, if you want to download the workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. In this trick here, we want to see how to calculate a bonus based on number of years worked. And the way it works is if you have five or greater years, you get a thousand and ten or more years and you get a bonus of 2,000. I'm going to use the dated if function. It's actually not, I always mispronounce it. It's the date diff equals date diff. This is an undocumented function, so you just kind of have to know how uh, to get it work. The first argument is going to be the begin date. The second argument is going to be today's date, because we want it to automatically uh, calculate every time whatever today's date is. Now today, I'm going to do that. That automatically puts in today's date. So begin and end. And then comma, the last argument, since we want years, is in uh, uh, quotes y for years. Control shift tilde, or apply the general format right there. Control shift tilde, tilde is to the left of the number 1. And then we can copy it down. Okay, so this person has not, not worked any. This one's worked uh, just two. There's a five, so that person should be getting a thousand. There's a ten, so that person should be getting uh, two thousand. Now, if you want to learn more about uh, date diff, go ahead and look at that video right there. There's a link. Uh, but this is perfect uh, for what we want. Now, that just gives us the years. Now, there's two ways we can do this. I'm going to copy. We can either use the if function. I'm going to say if. And I'm going to hard code everything in here, which in general I, I don't like to do. I'm going to say if, and the logical test is whatever that is, is that less than 5, which in case I want a 0. Otherwise, so less than 5, right? You get, you get a 0. The value, if true, that's it. So I type a comma, the value of false. Now think about this. We still have two possibilities uh, between 5 and 10 and above 10, right? So as soon as you get to the all false argument in if, and you have more than two, more than one possibility, you have to use another if. Now notice I started at the bottom here. If I start at the bottom, I have to use go methodically through to the top. So next I have to consider this. Control V for my dated if, if that's less than 10. And I'm going to go ahead and hard code this in. Now why less than 10? Why don't I have to go between 5 and uh, 10? Because I've already excluded with this first uh, logical test here, I've already excluded everything less than 5. So the only when I ask this question, the only option left, because if this is true, then the formula ends. But if it's not, and it's between 5 and 10, this one will re record a true comma, the value if true, it's going to be 1,000. Comma, otherwise, there's only one other possibility. So we, don't, we, we're, we only have one possibility left. So no more ifs. We just put 2,000. Close parentheses. Now, how do I know when to stop with the parentheses? I just look for the black one. Control Enter. And I'm going to double click and send it down. Control Shift 4 for currency format. Now, lots of people do it that way. They hard code it in, which I don't like to do in case it changes. Uh, lots of people uh, like to use the if. I don't like to do, use the if in this case. I'm going to use the VLOOKUP because I have this nice little table here. Uh, one advantage is that just sits there in the cell. It works just fine. You don't have to have a table over here. Equals VLOOKUP. And what am I going to look up? Well, now I need my data diff, the, the actual lookup value. Right there, remember, this is delivering a number of years. So I'm going to, that's the lookup value, comma, table array. It's sorted in ascending order. The first column is the lookup column. I have 0, 5, 10. So I'm going to highlight that table, um, F4 to lock it. F4 key locks those dollar reference so they're locked. As I copy the formula down, that will not move. That table will be referenced the whole time. Comma, the column index. Well, I want to return the bonus from the second column. Column 1, column 2 from the lookup table. 2. And um, 
I don't need the last argument because the table's sorted in ascending order, so I'm going to do, uh, and I want to do approximate lookup, so I close parentheses and control enter. And double click and send it down. The V lookup is much better here for this situation. All right, uh, there's a bonus based on years worked. We saw an if and a V lookup formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.